As we talk about SCADA, there, there's a couple things that you ought to consider. First, the original SCADA was non-networked. There was actually no communication. It was a closed loop between an RTU, a measurement point, and a control point. Uh, over time, you know, industry decided they wanted to know more, right? They wanted to have remote visibility over this process of monitoring control. Uh, and so the advent of network SCADA probably started in the mid to late 60s. Uh, before that, it was physically closed, and a lot of it was actually a combination of electrical and mechanical functionality, spring-loaded reclosers that would pop open as heat caused the spring to contract or expand. Uh, and so that kind of process was very mechanically oriented pre-1960s, then it became network oriented beyond the 60s into the 70s and 80s. Uh, today that process is taking yet another step and so you will see SCADA in certain type of industries that is predominantly uh, provided over fiber. As the risk increases, so if you have an outage at transmission, you affect every distribution company. Uh, and therefore there's a huge economic risk and therefore you would make a much greater investment in things like fiber optics so that you can deliver services, whether it's TDM, um, carrier Ethernet or MPLS type services. Then there's also discrete things, right? So early SCADA was dial-up and is still a large amount of SCADA is still dial-up. Uh, that process, if you can remember a modem training and all the weird noises, the carrier environment is promoting a carrier type network solution, LTE. However, in a private network environment, there's neither spectrum nor the ability to develop sites at the scale you would need uh, to actually build a private LTE. There's very, very few private LTE networks in the world today. The reality is, is that that platform, DMR Tier 3, provides the fewest sites for the greatest coverage of most of the wireless kind of technologies that are out there. I mean, there are competing standards like P25, like Tetra, but when you look really closely at it, the wide area aspect of it is first and foremost, because I'm not going to be able to go build sites, especially either cell sites or uh, uh, other data-only sites in a big wide area. I have to do that for voice. And so where I have an absolute voice requirement, choosing DMR Tier 3 enables me to then leverage that for industrial control type applications. 